வெல்கம் டு விஜய் கிரிக்கெட் வைப்ஸ் ஆப்கானிஸ்தான் கிரிக்கெட் டீம் வென் ஃபார் ஸ்ரீலங்கா டூர் டு பிளே ஓடிஇ சீரீஸ் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கவுன் டு சி அபவுட் மேட்ச் ப்ரொடிக்ஷன் அண்ட் டீடைல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்ரீலங்கா வர்சஸ் ஆப்கானிஸ்தான் ஃபோர் ஸ்டூடியோ மேட்ச் இஃப் யூ ஆர் நியூ டு அவர் சேனல் ஸோ ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அண்ட் கிளிக் தி பெல் ஐக்கன் டு இனேபிள் ஆல் தி நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் சேனல் அண்ட் யூ ஆல் கேன் ஜாயின் இன் அவர் டெலகிராம் சேனல் டு நோ மோர் அபவுட்ஸ் கிரிக்கெட் அப்டேட்ஸ் டெலகிராம் சேனல் லிங்க் இஸ் இன் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஸ்ரீலங்கா வர்சஸ் ஆப்கானிஸ்தான் ஃபோர் ஸ்டூடியோ மேட்ச் will be played in Mahindra Rajabaksha International Stadium, Hamban Tota on June 2nd coming Friday. Timing around 10 a.m. match will start. Vision 11 application. For small leagues, you all can prefer Vision 11 app. Just because of low entry fees when compared to other applications, it's 7-4 team combination. That means normal team combination so that we can able to create our teams very easily actually. Uh, then uh, a lot of exciting features so for example uh, for batting separate contest uh, bowling separate contest uh, reverse contest are also available in this app then uh, multiple contest we can able to join in just one click actually actually it is having a smooth interface so that we can able to use this app uh, in a user friendly manner then less competition uh, free giveaways for all the important matches they are giving um, so vision 11 app you all can prefer to play small leagues uh, Vision 11 app link is in description box. You all can install this app by using the link provided there in the description box and enter my refer code Vijay Cricket Vibes to get 500 cash bonus. Regarding head to get records of one day international so totally 7 matches has been played between Sri Lanka and Afghanistan. In the 7 matches 4 uh, matches have been won by Sri Lanka then 2 matches have been won by Afghanistan cricket team. then regarding mahinda rajabaksha international stadium hamban tota odi records 23 matches has been played in this pitch nine matches have been won by bat first and 11 matches has been won by bowl first teams 251 was the average of first inning score here and then 197 was average of second inning score here then 368 for four wickets and 50 overs has been registered by sri lankan cricket team versus pakistan which was the highest total recorded here then lowest total recorded here around 112 all out actually by kenya team against pakistan it has been registered as the lowest total here in this pitch regarding pitch report i am expecting spin friendly batting conditions and also fast bowlers with even bounce with some slight movement in the initial overs and also whoever bowling at death can able to get good amount of wickets but dominating department batsman so that chasing can be preferred by the captain who over winning the toss then sri lanka probable 11 they are going to open with patum nisan kand kidimut karnarthane after 2 years he has been included in sri lankan odi format then kusal mendes wicket keeper batsman charita aslanka angela matthews or dhananjay de silva dashun sanaka of course sri lankan team captain and then vanindu wasaranga chamika karnarthane kasun rajita mahesh dikshana lahir kumar or csk star matisa patirana Afghanistan probable 11 they are going to open with uh, Rahmanullah Gurbas with Ibrahim Zarran and Rahmat Shah Hashmatullah Shahidi of course Afghanistan team captain then Najibullah Zarran Muhammad Nabi Asmatullah Umar Zai Rashid Khan Fazal Farooq Mujibur Rahman Farid Ahmed or Noor Ahmed regarding Sri Lanka play stats patun nisan ka average around 61 against Afghanistan and then uh, Karnathane in two matches 53 runs he has scored Kusal Mendes 18 batting average against Afghanistan but ground shots he is having excellent record around 49 batting average Arith Asalanka 93 runs he has scored in three matches against Afghanistan Matthews 37 batting average and then ground shots 50 batting average Tasun Sanaka 19 batting average against Afghanistan and Dhananjay De Silva against Afghanistan having poor records and also in ground shots he has played in one match 12 runs only he has scored in that match and then one in the azaranga uh, record actually somewhat good how oh, three matches five wickets against afghanistan uh, he is having and then against uh, afghanistan okay but ground shots he is having some uh, good performance actually uh, in four matches he has taken eight wickets mahesh dikshan on three matches three wickets rasun rajita having excellent record against afghanistan seven wickets he has taken in three matches then afghanistan player starts current afghanistan player starts they are going to play for the first time in this hamban tota stadium so that the ground starts data nil 
Regarding head to head numbers, Rahman Allah Gurbaz averaged around 42, Ibrahim Zatan 92 actually. In three matches, he has scored 278 runs. Rahman Shah 206 runs in just uh, five matches actually at around 41 batting average. Shahidi averaged around 15 only against Sri Lanka. Najibullah Zatran 28 batting average against Sri Lanka. Muhammad Nabi, of course, seven matches, he has taken around eight wickets. Uh, uh, in batting department also, he has contributed around 139 runs at 19 batting average. Rashid Khan, of course, uh, 9 wickets he has taken in 5 matches. Uh, Mujibir Rahman having poor records against Sri Lanka, of course, uh, 2 wickets in just uh, in actually uh, 5 matches. Fazalak Faruqi, 4 wickets he has taken in 3 matches. Match predictions with the Grand League tips. Patun Nisanka with some decent form since his debut match is an exciting player to watch as a must to pick a mega for him because of excellent record against Afghanistan of around 61 as I said in uh, uh, Sri Lankan player stats against Afghanistan spinners he is capable of scoring good amount of runs actually and also with home conditions advantage he can be preferred as a captain or vice captain choice as a must pick as I said you may go for him Regarding Dimut Karunratne, after two years, uh, I think returning to Sri Lankan Odi former, just because of Odi World Cup is nearing, that too in subcontinent conditions, no. For that reason, majorly, uh, he might be included in uh, Sri Lankan cricket team. He was uh, something giving uh, ordinary performance only, actually, in, even in uh, test matches uh, for the past uh, 15 to 18 months, I has been watching. Uh, on and off performance only he has been giving in test matches also. Moreover, in this venue, he is having poor records. As a top order batter and also experienced player, you can prefer him in Grand Leagues as a replacement option. Kusal Mendis uh, has shown some tremendous form in the last couple of years actually with no brainer as a must pick a mega for him. And importantly, being a wicket-keeping option, that too in friend-friendly conditions, he will be too good in his selection in our team, actually. His selection will be too good in our team, actually. So that he can be, as I said, he can be preferred as a must-pick and also see a VC choice. Also, like Nisanka, Asalanka, also, also one of the promising talent in Sri Lankan lineup. Regarding his form, he is having good touch with the bat. With some slight... Uh, Home advantage actually he is having against left leg spinner and also against left arm spinners. He can be good enough to contribute with the bat. Then Matthews with a good record in this venue seems to be good prospect. But with the lack of one day international match practice and against one of the world best spin bowling unit actually. That too in subcontinent conditions in deeply analyzing. If you see means actually again right under against leg spinner left arm spinner. Karen ball delivering bowler. Considering all these facts actually, his performances might be questionable one. So that's why I am just giving preference to Nisanka, Asalanka, Kusal Mendis more when compared to Matthews. Dasun Shanaka with IP, IPL experience uh, played around 2 or 3 matches actually I am think. I am just if I am not wrong, wrong actually. Uh, with some cricket environment around him, he can be very handy in the lower middle order. But his bowling is somewhat a questionable one. Uh, I don't know whether he will bowl or not actually in this match. With Vanindu Azaranga with no brainer as a must pick a mega for him. With, him, with his all round ability and stump line delivering sense, uh, sure of a captain or a vice captain choice in this match, we can prefer actually. Chamika Karnatane as a must pick a mega for him while bowling first. And also, he is capable of. Uh, uh, too good in batting actually. Kasun Rajuta is a wicket taking bowler who bowls well in initial overs and also in the power play overs. Sorry, and also in the slog or death overs. Minimum two wickets, maximum three wickets. While bowling first, he can be preferred as a captain or vice captain choice. But as a bowl second, he is a must pick. In that manner, you just prefer him in your team. Mikey Dikshana with some ordinary, very, very ordinary performances in. Uh, uh, recently ended IPL actually and also with the poor fielding ability Dikshana is something like something uh, Shanaka uh, uses him as a pacer because uh, he will not uh, turn that much uh, and also uh, his wicket taking ability is similar like uh, one wicket taking bowler actually because uh, his line and length is somewhat predictable but with the stump line attacking sense uh, uh, if you get one wicket also minimum 37 points he will be getting and 
But one thing regarding Dikshana is Shanaka will give sure about 10 hours actually. So for that reason, he can be preferred in Grand Leagues. But with the likes of Hasaranga, then Lahiri Kumara, Kasun Rajita, in your teams, uh, those players can be preferred ahead of Dikshana actually. So in that manner, you just uh, think of your uh, team selection. Then uh, regarding Lahiri Kumara with extra pace around the corner, sure of taking two wickets as a must pick and mega for him. Or else, if Matisa Patirana, Sri Lankan uh, uh, fast bowler, uh, Actually, Sri Lankan uh, fast bowler, uh, I'm just mentioning about uh, CSK Pacer actually, because uh, uh, he got that uh, star value recognition actually. Uh, just because of excellent uh, uh, bowling display, that too, especially in uh, day two hours, uh, he's earning that, uh, he, he nowadays he is earning that uh, respect among the fans actually. He is capable of taking good amount of uh, wickets at the death and also with the initial overs so that a batsman might feel difficulty to face against him so that Shanaka might use us and also might trust Patirana in death overs with his extra pace and with a consistent yorker executing ability overall Patirana as a must pick C or VC choice we can prefer actually with the bowl first captain or vice captain choice regarding Patirana I am telling with bowl second as a must pick we can able to uh, choose in our team in, in our team actually regarding uh, patirana i am telling but regarding uh, lakiri kumara as an extra piece minimum two wickets sure for uh, lakiri kumara as a must pick may go for him whether kumara is playing whether or whether uh, patirana is playing both of them we can prefer in our team actually gurbas with on and off performances in recently ended ipl but he is capable of scoring good knocks around the corner in this ODI series. Just because with no pressure to hit every ball, he can be very good choice as a must pick with wicket keeping ability and also as a top order batter, he can be good handy with the bat actually in this series so that he can contribute well with the bat. I am preferring him as a must pick. Ibrahim Zarran is the most consistent batsman in Afghanistan lineup for the past one year. I have been watching against Sri Lanka also. He is averaging around 92, scored 278 runs in just three matches. Straight away, we can prefer him as a C or VC choice. Rahmat Shah, with all vast experience with the part time bowling ability, he can be. Yeah, regular must pick in subcontinent conditions in our teams with excellent uh, average against Sri Lanka and also he is in good rhythm also with the bat. Importantly, CVC option in our teams we can prefer. Like Rahmat Shah, Shahidi too having huge experience actually around him. But against Sri Lanka, he averaged around just 15 only which is something a debatable one and also uh, tends to prefer other players like uh, Gurbaz, Ibrahim Zarran, Rahmat Shah, Muhammad Nabi in their batting unit more actually. Najibullah Zarran is something special player actually in uh, Afghanistan lineup, but with but with extra pace around the corner uh, and also Najib's most performances in initial matches is something uh, not up to his standard actually. As I said with extra pace around the corner and uh, Asaranga, then Dikshana. Uh, Dikshana is like a carom ball delivering bowler. So these kind of things actually might threaten him, threatens Najibullah Zaran actually. So in GL, we can prefer him because of his uh, uh, long, long innings uh, anchoring ability actually. Muhammad Nabi with vast experience around the world seems to be good because of all-round ability just to see Sri Lankan uh, batting lineup actually. Left handers like Karna Ratne, Dimuth Karna Ratne, I mean actually. Then Charit Asalan cover the left handers and importantly, Mohammed Nabi's off spin ability against his left handers might be, uh, might create some possible uh, situation of uh, taking one wicket or two wickets. Uh, and also, he can able to contribute with the bat very well, as we all know actually. So, as a must pick, may go for him. And also, we can prefer Nabi as a C or VC choice. Umar Zai with slight improvement in last set of series, actually. I mean, franchise game of tournaments, actually. I'm mentioning that. But one thing is, his overs is not sure, actually, of about whether he will bowl full court of 10 overs. 
I am not sure about that. So, for that reason, I am just giving less preference to Omar Zai when compared to other players. Rashid Khan, the ultimate champion cricketer, was always in good form throughout his career actually. Excellent performances in recently ended IPL 2023 with over 27, with around actually 27 wickets actually, if I am not wrong actually. And also... Uh, contributed well with the bat so straight away with not much introduction we can prefer Rashid Khan as a C or VC choice Fasalak Faruqi even though having some ordinary performances uh, with limited opportunities in uh, SRH uh, team actually he was having I am preferring him as a captain or vice captain choice straight away because uh, he can able to swing in both the sides actually he is a uh, Special bowler of uh, Faz that means uh, Fazalak Faruqi is somewhat uh, as a special bowler actually in Afghanistan lineup. So, Sri Lankan batsman might feel some difficultness against him actually. So, major chances of uh, a good number of wickets uh, possible for me for him actually. So, that I'm preferring Fazalak Faruqi as a must pick and also captain or vice captain choice. Mujib's recent form is something questionable one. With World Cup around the corner, his form, I mean, wicket taking skill needs to return. Actually, expecting a Sri Lankan batters to play Mujib well actually because uh, just look at his stats. Actually, he is having, uh, uh, having some uh, very, very ordinary records only against Sri Lanka. So, that's why I am just preferring Mujib, uh, I'm just preferring Rashid Khan, then Fasilak Faruqi, Muhammad Nabi, then uh, even Farid Ahmad also. I'm just, I'm just giving a much preference ahead of Mujib Rahman. Farid Ahmad, always I used to tell whether he is expensive or not, but as a wicket taking skill, ability he is having, and also uh, uh, with uh, a dead bowling option, actually, Fazilak, like Fasilak Faruqi, he can able to. Uh, get a good amount of wickets uh, minimum two wickets maximum for three wickets i'm just thinking actually so uh, farid agamad uh, in gl we can prefer him and uh, if because of recent form if noor agamad preferred in sri lankan conditions means uh, means uh, straight away we can prefer noor agamad just because no intro he is having excellent season for gujarat titans Captain, the vice captain choices, uh, I mean, play to watch out for. As a safer said, Varindu Asaranga, Ibrahim Ziran, Kusal Mendes, Rashid Khan can be preferred. Then, as a risky choice, Kasun Rajita, Rahmat Shah, Patum Nisanka, Fasulak Faruqi can be tried. Then, moving to model dream team, in wicket keeping section, I am preferring Kusal Mendes much more than Gurbas actually. Then, Patum Nisanka in the batting department along with Ibrahim Zadran, Ragamat Shah, Charita Salanka, and then all round department uh, Mohammed Nabi, Vanindu Asuranga, Chamika Karnadana. In bowling department, we can prefer Kasun Rajita, Rashid Khan, Fazalak Faruqi more. Then uh, Gurbas can be preferred in place of Kusal Mendes or Asalanka or Asalanka. So just uh, keep it in your mind. And also Angela Matthews can be preferred in place of Asalanka. Then uh, Mujibir Ragaman in place of uh, Mohammed Nabi. Lahir Kumara with extra pace around the corner or Matisa Patirana if place means straight away as a replacement option for Karnaratne, we can prefer them actually. Captain, I am just preferring uh, Rashid Khan. Then vice captain, I am just preferring as a risky choice of Rahmat Shah. You can prefer Patim Nesanka, Ibrahim Zaran, Manindu Azaranga, Kasun Rajita while bowl first and then uh, Fasalak Faruqi as a university choice. So these kind of choices also can be preferred. If you like this uh, match analysis uh, between uh, Sri Lanka versus Afghanistan first today match, uh, just like and share with your friends so that uh, worldwide our channel videos can be spread. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, friends.